I met a man from Sligo and I met a man from Cork in Gavin's in East Durham in upstate New York. The t Cork men talked of hurling on the banks of the Lee, but I was much more interested in Dermot Henry. That man can make up songs about blues, rap and rock, and when he finishes singing a song, he will talk and talk. Some stories were very funny, others full of grouse, like when he told the story of his sister's father's house. He told us how he left Ireland so many years ago and bid a fond farewell to the green hills of Sligo. He told us how they spell Ireland in the village of Asti and invited all to come there and have a cup of tea. The banks are all broken, he said, and the merchants up in the tree, while well, Sammy is up in the north and Ireland isn't free. And of course he's still bragging about the Kerry football team and they battle it the other 31 counties in search of another dream. We all laughed at the new song about his mouth full of teeth and Ulster and Leinster on top and Connors and Munster underneath. If a bridge between Roscommon and Westmead teeth could be grown, I seriously think they'd have to call it the Bridge of Athlone. He sang other songs of Ireland and the shortage there of dough. And of course he sang about his mother from the county of Mayo. He didn't sing the lively song about the Golden Jubilee or the sad, sad song about the girl who could no longer see. He sang a new song about Ireland which causes so much pain. You know the one I'm talking of, the one about the rain. He sang about the banks and their bad financing and the girls of New York and their famous dancing. He told us of the six foot seven woman who was overweight and the girl in love with a gypsy when she was only eight. For those with cameras he did multiple types of posing and he was wearing dreadlocks just as the show was closing. The day could have even been better just like Marie and Donny if Kathy had been there and they sang of Johnny lovely Johnny. Dreamy things like that only happen in a nursery rhyme and it could never happen more than once upon a time.